The survivor, identified as Y Doe, was attacked inside her Natomas home back in 2006. She says the attacker was already inside when she got home late at night. He took her to her bedroom at gunpoint, and that's when she saw her roommate already bound on the bed. She testified that both she and her roommate were raped repeatedly side by side throughout the night. Now, cameras were not allowed in trial. However, we do have some excerpts of her testimony. Wido said the suspect initially told her, don't do anything stupid, I just want some money. She then went on to say he told me he had a gun and his car was stolen, he had nothing to lose. Adding, I felt so violated and so scared for my life. Not only the physical trauma she endured, but it was painful for me to know what was going on to my roommate. Finally, that while being raped, I didn't even want to cry because I didn't want him to know I was suffering and get him excited. Roy Charles Waller was arrested two years ago back in 2018, 12 years after that crime in Natomas. The former UC Berkeley employee was married living in Benicia at the time. Prosecutors say DNA genealogy linked the 60-year-old to at least nine assaults between a 15-year period from 1991 to 2006, spanning six Northern California counties. Waller has pled not guilty. He faces life in prison. As for today's testimony, Y. Doe replayed a similar MO that other survivors testified to during the trial, that when she was able to break free, her ATM card, driver's license, cash were stolen, among other items. She and her roommate were bathed in a bathtub to wash off any evidence before the attacker left. And she also said that he had been watching her for some time. He knew where she worked. As for Waller, he didn't look up to face Y. Doe throughout, throughout the duration of her testimony. He had a pencil and paper and his head down and he was writing or maybe even drawing during the duration of the trial. In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.